Can I say one thing? I appreciate that you didn't touch a single thing on that shelf in there. <laughs> a single thing. DG Now is back. All right, we are back. Uh, we are back. It hasn't been that long. It's only been two and a half years. <laughs> two and a half years, we are back. Which, by the way, that's not true, but I yeah. did look. Yes. You know when the last time we did this? No, when? June of 2022. It was something about the Stanley Cup being dropped. I think you know it was Tampa yeah, Bay. That's crazy. You know what's kind of funny? is like we talked about doing stuff like, like remember Boston.com? Innovative move. DG Now, innovative news. New innovative move. It's been two and a half years. Normally, like we introduce a new thing, like we would do a new thing at that point. Don't you think? Like, are we lazy? It's something up our sleeve. We're gonna come. We're come discussing what I have learned. Yeah, is my social media game without you? Yeah, you stink. Yeah, you is yeah, zilch. Tough, tough, tough. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. But you're back. I'm a team so guy. So we're gonna have to take it to the next yeah, level yeah, now. Yeah, you demanded the return. So all right, DG. Now we are back. Three topics. We hit them fast. I do not think they have forgotten this yet. So we'll do it quick. Uh, Taylor Swift last night. I only watched the first half. That was about as much as I could take of Taylor Swift at that point. Unbelievable yeah. how she has infiltrated the NFL. In just like every aspect. We're talking tweets. We're talking her movie commercial was like the first one out the gate. Like or her like live uh, theater thing or whatever she's doing. And then cutting to her at every possible moment. The funny thing I thought was like she walks into the stadium. And she's the only name on the lower third or whatever you want to call it. Like, Hugh Jackman is she's behind Hugh her. Hugh Jackman and Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds is behind her. She doesn't her. come by herself. She comes with some of the biggest stars yes. in the world. Un unbelievable. She does, like, seem... And by the way, yeah. don't tell me that Aaron Rodgers, the jailbreak out of the hospital, oh, right, right. he wasn't even supposed to be traveling. He's just a team guy. To be on the yeah, yeah. sideline. Uh, it's probably a mix. It's probably yeah. a mix. But obviously, that's he such a big to be spot. There. You big want spot. to be there for that. Kind of crazy how... Yeah. She has taken over the the intro for Sunday Night Football, and they said Kelsey's jersey I think was up four hundred percent. Four hundred last week. I feel like it's only grown and gotten bigger now. Crazy. I mean, second game, they've won two in a row with Taylor Swift in the stadium. So you got to keep that going. Also, by the way, I'm kind of calling BS. Paul might agree with this or not. I feel like they've probably been dating for six months. Don't you think? I don't even care. She doesn't have a microphone on. It's a. <laughs> you think it's a marketing thing? Yeah. We have to get we have to get Paul on mic. She's got like she's got some pretty good take. Okay. All right, settle down, Paul. Settle down. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is our show. So you know what, Taylor? Stay in your lane. Yeah. I want to watch football. But like, like showing up and sitting with the mom if they've only been dating for like a week. Great point. That's like a psychopath move. Like, Correct. so I'm nervous about that. So I'm gonna say they've been dating for six months, but you're right. Paul, get out of here. I respect Taylor's back. music game and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm just I'm just not a Swift, I'm gonna probably get killed for yeah, saying yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. You know what it, I this hate? is a little bit much. I'm fine. I'm gonna be an optimist now. I'm in a positive zone. I'm back here. I hated it at first. Now I'm cool with it. I hated what he did on his podcast. Maybe I'll play a clip right now. He like he did a portion of a podcast that was like questions about football for Swifties, and the questions were like, "What's a field goal? Do you pass or do you run when playing football?" It's like. Do you think like all fe like there's not one female or one female Taylor Swift fan that knows the game of football? Like it's just a weird instinct. Okay. You've gone way too okay. far. I don't care. Whatever. All right. what we'll we move on to the next thing. Fine. We'll move on to the next thing. All right. Mortgage rates. We do our mortgage topic in the middle. They're obviously through the roof. What are they at? Like 25, 50 at this point. <laughs> it feels like yeah. it. Yeah. It really is crazy. I you know open up this morning and they're continuing to go up. Um, bottom line is, you're back in them. Mortgage real estate yes, game. Yes. Especially I saw it on Barstool last night. Yes. They yeah. welcomed you. You might as well have referenced you. They you were the, you were the dream. It. You were the yeah. dream. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, we're talking about it all the time with our clients where it's, you know, buy now, refinance later. Don't get caught up in the interest rates. Yeah. Yes, they might be in certain situations, you know, sevens and, and in some cases getting close to 8%. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you're going to be in an opportunity where rates go down somewhere in the next 6, 12, 18 months. Can refinance, not, um, refinance then because when rates do come down, for those people that say they're going to wait for interest rates to come down, yep. they're going to get crushed with buyers that just flood into the market. There's a lot of people waiting out there. I think I saw uh, a stat, 
uh, that there's four to five million people waiting on the sidelines for lower rates to come back into the market to yeah. buy. So be careful what you wish for. Buy now might be a higher interest rate, higher payment, but it'll be short term. Do you think like the first time home buyer is a part like is thinking well, about the rates the higher are, rates? Yeah, rates are a new story, but also yeah. rents are going up in right. our area. Right. 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 So everything's going up and you just do we got to break down the numbers. That's why it stinks. But you're break back. Down the I'm yeah. actually going to do another video on that. Okay. You're, you're, oh, you're, so I'm teasing. Uh, we're forward tease yeah. we'll, for whatever. We'll the, break it down a, the next, a little bit more. But at the end of the day, where's that going? Where's we're that do, video going? Is that going to like your social media or to like an email thing? Yeah. Oh, oh maybe we'll do both. We're not even you're in back. the loop. We're not even in the loop anymore. I don't get these emails. Videos like, in, yeah. in play. I don't get these emails anymore. All right. All right topic number three. Go. Let's go to the hockey talk because we haven't done that in forever. Next captain, the Bruins. Brad Marsh, I want your take. He the guy? He's the guy. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so, anybody's debating that, right? No, yeah. without question. Yeah. Uh, there's talk of McAvoy. Yep. McAvoy's still, I think, a little bit too young. Yep. Marshawn's a guy. Luch is back. The older guys are in the mix. Tough to lose. Bergie, Krejci. Yep. Uh, but next guy in line. Okay. I like Luch back. 63. I like Luch back a lot. Love it. Love it. Uh, I want to play Partying with Wahlberg. I think uh, he was partying with Wahlberg This when? weekend. At the new bar Moxie's in the seaport, I get my God, I get my TMZ talk from I'm you now. I'm gonna cut you off. Why? That I don't it's know that. Over. No. Oh, it's too long. All it's right, over. we're out of here. DG now.